Hello YouTube, Nerdy Librarian here. Look, I haven't done an intro like this in a while, but I figured for the length of this video, I figured I could take a few seconds of your time here just to tell you what's going to be going on here, what you can look forward to in this one. In today's episode, we're going to be visiting an old, abandoned, or so we think, rocket test facility near the town of Novak in the hopes of quelling tensions with ghouls. Along with that, we're going to be solving the case of a kidnapping tied to Caesar's Legion and a traitor in the midst of the town of Novak. And one more thing, guys. My wife is showing up for this video, so you're not going to want to miss it. Sit back relax and enjoy this episode of Fallout New Vegas. Uh, hey YouTube, welcome back, Dirty Librarian here. Sorry, my microphone was muted there at the beginning of this one. I'm already fumbling. Yikes. You know, you'd think I'd know by now. Nope, I don't. Anyway, before we get started here, I have some comments from previous videos and that sort of thing that i like to discuss here, or and some other things from the channel here. So, first of all, uh, Canres, Canres, however you pronounce that, sorry if I'm butchering it. So, it, this was on short I released for episode four, I believe. So, yeah, it's always Malcolm about the Sunset Sarsaparillas bottle caps. He wanders in after you. He gets into the worst positions. Yeah, but uh, average interaction in UK is the comment on this one. I've never been to the UK. I, I, I'm sorry, I live in the United States. But what I can say is, you know what? That's funny. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, that that's funny. Uh, yeah, Lumi 788. It's always Malcolm. Yes, it is. If it wasn't, I would be deeply concerned, because I'd be wondering, who coded this game? Where's Malcolm? What happened to that guy? He's nuts, but I don't want I don't want him to go, okay? And then a uh, new subscriber, Danielle Hildebrandt. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, let's see. Then we have Garrett585, can't see the landmines t-shirt idea. Guys, we're going to need more subscribers to the channel before we even have t-shirts as a conversation, but thank you for saying so. That would, yeah, I can't see the landmines. That is a funny one. My low perceptive ability, as I always say in my videos, it strikes again. And this is no exception. Just cannot see a little doubt those things, yeah. Anyway, let's jump back in here. Where we left off, uh, let's see here. We are in Novak. Th this fun little town that apparently is being played plagued by ghouls got some limb damage here that's fine head to the repcon facility west of town is what this is saying come fly with me you know let's fly let's fly away i don't want this video to get demonetized so i'm not gonna sing the whole thing you know how it goes it's a good song play it for yourselves but yeah, head to the Repcon facility west of Novak to investigate rumors of ghoul activity there. Okay, let's go do that. Yeah, I believe what we did last time was we arrived here and then took care of, uh... Oh, oh what are those things called? It, some sort of super mutant, but a little more dangerous than that. Oh! Hey, there's a glowing one taking radiation. That's always fun. Well, I'm thinking about it, actually. Uh, I'm only down to six shots in the thing I'm holding here. The cowboy repeater, it's its fun. It's so much fun, but I have to switch to something else. I wish I didn't, but I need to. Let's go uh, back to the weathered 10 mil here. Okay, good. It's just a cell phone. <laughs> and another one? Uh. Hello, I've got a breadcrumb trail of phones. 
Anybody know anything about this? What? What is going on here? Oh, boy. Let's see here. Yeah, that's a ghoul. Oh, gosh. If I read... If... If I read my uh, keyboard commands... Yikes. Line it up. Li missed it. Missed it. Well, that was uh, an embarrassing display on my part. Yikes. All that four bottle caps. Oh, brother. Well, that means we're getting close to where we need to be, though. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, okay. Hey, hey, I was trying to read the sign, guy. Oh. Rude. Hey, it's my wife. Hi. Yep, we're married now. Hi, How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Very kind of you. Oh gosh. Oh, that's bad. That's, yeah, glowing ones. Uh, let's just say they're, uh, these are feral ghouls that are so encompassed by radiation. They're tough and also dancing in a corner, apparently. <laughs> Yikes, guy. I'll sell that later. Not gonna smoke those, I'll sell those for cats. So, what have you been up to? How's that going? Good, I just sell a lot of things and now I'm going to go turn into the Firefly to the museum. Nice. And freak out blathers. Freak out blathers? Yeah, he hates blathers. Oh yeah, oh, I do remember, babe. Go do that. Go freak out that owl. Love you, Love you too. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm married now. Yeah, uh, as of this recording date, that'll have been about a month ago, which, uh, we went on a really nice honeymoon, guys, let me tell you. So, we went, we went north for a little bit, then west, then south. Uh, I know that's very non-specific of me to say it like that, but we went to... So the first place we went to was, uh, we went up to Minneapolis, right? And, gosh, I'm sorry for anybody who lives in a big city that has to deal with the traffic. I'm, I'm from a city of maybe 20,000 people. You put me in a city with 2 million or more, I just, I freak out. I don't like it. Like, driving and parking's a nightmare. But, oh man, we had so much fun. Some good food. Like, first night we were there, some nice Italian food. I got... I got some nice uh, brick oven pizza, and she got... Uh, a, a shrimp pasta dish and that sort of thing. It was just delicious. Uh, and then while we were up there as well, we went to Mall of America a little bit, which, let me tell you... If you haven't been to Mall of America, that is an all-day experience extravaganza. It's so fun. But, you know, I guess the running joke on this channel is that we're always talking about <gasps> right? Gosh. Sorry, hard to talk about food when I'm being uh, ripped a new one by Feral Pools. But anyway, uh, so we went to Mall of America, right? And wouldn't you know it... Well, okay. Some context for this. My wife and her family, they really like uh, lint truffles, right? They really like truffles. Kind of uh, to the point of being dangerous a little bit. 
Well, wouldn't you know it, while we're there, we find... I think it was up on... Second or third floor, we found this Lint truffle store. And they just have these bins of all these different types of truffles just laid out in the center of their store where people walk around and ogle, and ogle at them like they're items in a museum or something. Right? So, we're there, and she turns to me and she's like, Babe, 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 babe. babe. We need to get truffles. And I'm like, okay, how many are we talking here? Are we talking like 20? What What? What are we talking here? So we end up walking out of that store with 50 truffles. And you know what? I'm not even mad. Those things are fantastic. Just at the time, it, it seemed like a really dangerous venture. But, yeah. Suffice to say... Here we are nearly a month later. Well, I guess three weeks later, because we were on honeymoon for a week. We... We still have... We still have a lot of truffles. We probably still have half of them. Just because a lot of times we'll have ice cream or something for dessert, and... Oh, man. I keep talking about food on this channel. If this weren't a gaming channel... It, it would just be a food channel, you know? I love food. But I love my wife more! <laughs> Did I say that with enough emphasis? I love my wife more, guys. Food's great, but my wife is better. Boy, this place is a mess. Okay, but anyway, so we were up in Minneapolis-St. Paul for a couple of days. They have, like, five or six lanes on either side of the interstate there. It's insane by the standards of where I'm from. So, <laughs> yikes. Um, let's see here. Ooh, plasma rifle? Ooh, okay. But anyway, so after, I mean, we'll talk about Mall of America for a little bit. We ended up getting one of those, or I guess two of them, one for each of us. But some of those, uh, like bundle passes or whatever, they, because they have those apparently. So we got one that included four different events, and they have all of it there in the mall. And I, I would highly suggest, by the way, because it's it's actually really good value. So it's the uh, the amusement park there, the Nickelodeon one. They have an aquarium there in the mall, and then we did an escape room and a mini golf course. Oh gosh, guys, it was so much fun. Actually, the best thing, the best thing that we did at Mall of America, I have to say, was probably the escape room. If, you know, if, if you've been to an escape room or you've done that before, please put that in the comments, guys. Share what your experiences were with that. You know, for people that haven't gone and done escape rooms yet, I would highly, HIGHLY recommend. But, so, we get there, and we have pretty much no idea what we're doing. Right? It's it's our first time we get there. The guy we worked with was super nice, but he's like, hey, uh, so it, this is your first time doing this, right? We, we have all these different uh, escape rooms that we do. We're kind of this big company or whatever, and it's like, okay. But he's like, you know, we'll help, we'll help you guys out here. Just fill out these forms and that sort of thing, you know, just to make sure that you're going to be okay with doing this, that it's not going to be a problem. You know, yeah, he he was super nice. But the one we ended up going with was this secret agent one where where we're secret agents in the middle of a bazaar over it kind of like uh in the Middle East or that sort of thing, but we're looking for a 
we were looking for a secret uh, missile bunker. Oh, it was, it was so good, guys. Would highly, highly recommend. Uh, according to the board that they had, that was like a, a difficulty eight out of ten. So it was just my wife and myself. With I know with escape rooms you can go there with plenty of different people and that sort of thing, have huge groups, and then of course they have hey, scheduled times. Over here. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Uh, who are you? Might I ask? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Alright, where are you located again? I didn't... Uh, you know, my head's still a little fuzzy. Uh, it, it's been... It's been a bit. Uh, where are you located at? Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Got it. I think. I'll get there as soon as I can, okay? Let's hope you do. Smooth skin, huh? Oh, it was a nightkin. That's what I'm thinking of. It was a nightkin that we... Ooh. That actually does quite a bit of damage. Huh. Hey! My wife again. Oh, what do you need my phone for? Oh. Oh, right. Community day, got it. I'm not too concerned about it, but thank you. Oh, <laughs> you need to get into my phone. Got it. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's a picture I took of common section. So I could read those off for this. Thank you, babe. Oh boy, it's starting to carry too much. You know, for the longest time, I always wondered how people carried anything in the Fallout games. And then after watching the Fallout TV series, it made so much sense to me. Because, you know, in, in Skyrim and that sort of thing, you, you probably have a... some sort of just pocket dimension or whatever that you can just put your items into. It, you can carry, you can just carry that with you, just over your shoulder, it's not a problem. But with uh, the Fallout TV show, and I'm sorry for anybody that hasn't seen it yet, they just carry around this huge duffel bag full of items that probably, oh, 80, 100 pounds at very least. I mean, it, it's kind of insane. But, in a Fallout game, that's probably basically what you're doing. Oh, gosh! Somehow managed to get its arm there, but... See ya, chump! H how's it going with the Pokemon search back there, babe? No shinies yet? Okay. It's alright. I'm not... Look, I'm not overly concerned about it, to be honest. But, thank, thank you for looking. Oh boy. Look at all this old junk here. What do we got here? We got anything good here? Housekeeping! Boy, this place is a mess. I don't want to be your housekeeping anymore. Don't make me do it. Oh, boy. Wow. I wonder if this was the break room or something. I mean, they have a literal pool table in their factory. I mean... I mean, that's great, but who does that? That's so nice, having a pool table there.
Okay. Going up here. So... Hey, babe, what was... Remind me, what would you say your favorite thing from all of America was? Oh, I, I told the truffle story already. Wait, that... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? Fair, but also... So, what, what do you mean by that? Unpack that a little bit for us, babe. Yes. <laughs> it's my favorite because it reminds me of whenever I would get them for my mom for like holidays or just to maybe cuz gifts because you know she deserves it because she is the best mom I could ever have. No, she's not the best mom I could ever have, but she's still the best. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be, babe. You know I have the best of intentions. It just doesn't always go well. Yeah. Could you roast me a little more, please? Roast me a little more, please. Just make me feel bad about it, babe. Uh, actually, wait, don't. It, it's the... You know, it's that delicate balance of, you know, playfully wanting my wife to roast me, but at the same time going, you know, maybe that's not the healthiest thing for a relationship, but at the same time also going, maybe it is. I don't know. I think it's a good balance. Between you do it to me and I do it to you, so you roast me and I roast you, so. Roast me, please! <laughs> Seriously? Just a little bit. That, that, that's what you'd compare it to? Yes. You know what? That's valid. I mean, I don't know if anybody else has this going or not, on or not. I know I've had this conversation with you before, but on how the voice I hear when I talk is not the voice you hear when I talk. Yeah. Like, I, I think my voice sounds fine, but then she's like, no, your voice sounds just awful. Okay, maybe maybe you don't. Say, what what do you say on that again? You have a good voice. It's just sometimes you hear different things when you try to voice act than I do. Some of your voice acting that you do is good. Some is not. Okay, so give me an example of what a good one is, and then give me an example of one that's not so good. Um, when you try and do Elmo, it is not good. You sound like a child who sucked helium, but it wasn't good helium, and they're just like, I don't know. It's just weird. You heard it here first, people. Don't suck the bad helium. <laughs> um, a good one I would say that you do is the Joker. You do a good Joker. Yes, if we're not doing a terrible Elmo, I'll just do a good Joker for you, everybody, on this on this recording here. Okay. Sound good, sound good. Okay. Is that enough of that? Oh no, he's still he's still going. <sighs> nice. Feel bad for these guys. Not really. What do you mean? They're zombies. They deserve to die. They're not zombies, actually. Okay. Well, potato. Okay. Uh. So. Like con for, for context, my wife hasn't played a Fallout game yet. Oh, gosh. But... So they're not zombies. They're kind of zombie-like. They've been... People... The people who've been exposed to so much radiation after atomic bombs dropped that they kind of go insane. So those are still people. Like, they're still technically alive, but at the same time, they don't know who they are. They've gone animalistic, cannibalistic. Zombies. But they're still alive. They're not undead. 
Does that make sense? Eh, I think zombies could go either way. Uh, they're kind of like living zombies, put it that way. So you admit that they're zombies? No, I admit that they're maybe zombie-like, but they're not zombies. Well, what are you looking at here? <laughs> I mean... This feels like a yes to your situation. I love you. My wife, everybody. The real comedian of the two of us. Bye, babe. Okay. Love you. Enjoy your Animal Crossing. Thank you. Enjoy your zombie killing. They're not zombies, but... They're zombies. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh... Yeah. She's she's so nice, guys. She's so much fun. I love her. Yeah, no, I really need to introduce her to this series. Uh my, I mean my sister-in-law has kind of introduced her a little bit to the TV series not too long ago and she she really enjoys it. Hey, nice star bottle cap. She really enjoys that series. I mean I mean, who doesn't enjoy that? It's 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 really good. I I just have to say, and you know, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen it. I well, I'm not going to spoil anything too badly here, but actually, not really spoiling it at all. All all I'm going to say is they didn't. And this might be common knowledge by this point, but they didn't adapt any of the games into the show. And what I mean by that is they didn't try to make the storyline of a game the the premise for the show, if that makes sense. There, it, it's new material, and I I appreciate that because I mean, how many movies and TV shows and that sort of thing have we seen that have tried to adapt? what already is material like what's already happened in a series or whatever and then to try to to try to make sense of that with or to adapt that into a show or a movie either they end up cutting so much material or people are like you didn't do this storyline correctly you did this character no justice or even the just kind of eh y you know what i mean cuz the game already did it so well and i i think that's where it's easy to fall into the cash grab category but that's that's why i like the fallout tv series so much because it's its own unique storyline but it also still connects to the games a little bit due to the lore and everything that's going on. Because in each of the games, you know, you get a little piece of what happens in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. You get li it, bits and pieces of who's responsible for everything that happened and how things went down. So, I've already watched through the first season of Fallout, and I'm really excited for the second season on that. So, and I, I can't wait. And I, I'm just gonna say, I'm... I'm... kind of... Ex I'm... oh boy. I'm tripping over my own words here. I'm excited, but also a little bit nervous for what they're proposing for season two but I'm also the sort of person that doesn't really dwell on it either if that makes sense because to be honest to be honest I mean where, where they're going it's it's gonna be good regardless so all I'll say at this point is 
I don't know what the writers have planned, but I'm going to trust the writers. I trust them to do the right thing. They did such a good job on season one. I trust them for season two, and that's enough for me. I don't, I don't need to say... I'm, I'm worried that they're not going to adapt material correctly or an ending on something is going to get ruined. Whatever. Right? I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. I'm, I'm just excited for it. And then, speaking of TV shows, so, oh, my wife and I just binge watched one. We had, we had to go dog sit for her parents, because they, they were out of town for a little bit. We ended up, we ended up watching this show called, called, uh, School Spirits. Apparently it came out in 2023. Oh my gosh. That was... That one was really good. I, I would highly recommend that. And coming from me, I have certain things that I look for in... in movies and TV shows. Like, I'm, I'm a little stricter with that than my wife is. Her, her family is, defi is definitely a movie family, and they're not too picky on what they watch. Me, I'm like, you know, there's certain things... Oh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pause this one right here. Hey, sorry about the jump in the edit there, guys. Uh, so, for context, here's what happened. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law and their little son came over here to... Well... So they're living at an apartment right now. So we have so we have their smoker. So my brother was coming over to smoke some meat and oh it was it was really good and it was just great. So yeah, more talk of food. Just can't escape it. Can never escape it. Now that being said, uh... That being said, with this, uh... I'm, I realized forgot to, I forgot to quick save last time, so... We ended up having to backtrack slightly. So... You guys didn't have to see that part. Boom! Plasma Rifle! Oh, the Plasma Rifle's so good. So glad we found that. But, so back to the topic of being on Honeymoon and that sort of thing. So at Mall of America, I, I mentioned they have an aquarium. I, I know I did. I mentioned that was one of the things that we did. For those of you who haven't been to Mall of America, that is definitely something you need to do there. And that's because... So we were looking on the map that they have for Mall of America, and it's like, oh, the aquarium's over on the east side of the building. Okay, right? Well, we get over there, and I'm like, where is it? And my wife points out, she's like, I think we have to go down for it. Sure enough, apparently the aquarium stretches underneath the mall itself. Oh, it, it's awesome. Gooified. Okay. 
Perfect. Just have to keep being sneaky. Just have to keep sneaking our way through here. Oh yeah. Medical supplies. Anything else good in here? Eh, you know, the rest of it leaves something to be desired, but that's fine. It's good to find healing supplies. Okay, that's empty. All right. Well, unless we missed anything over here, which I don't think we did, but... Well, I could be wrong, actually, because there's some, uh... There's some stuff to check here. Like that. Free rounds. For free? Oh, man. Boom. Oh, look. This this place is great. Ammo galore. It's fantastic. Right. Gotcha. Nine rads. Human flesh. I think I'm good. I don't think I need that. Oh, mutilated leg. Lovely. Oh, oh. Oh. Mutilated Brahmin corpses. Okay, well, I think I know what the ghouls were doing on their free time. Yikes. Also, I'm pretty sure this staircase is where we needed to go for this. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering, but I think... I think this looks promising. fair. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth... Smooth Skin, huh? You know, your skin looks pretty smooth to me itself. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Alright, if you say so. Of course. They wouldn't put uh, the, the lootable stuff in here now, would they? The bright. Interesting. Oh, oh yeah. It would be stealing. Okay, good to know. A holy fire will carry us to our salvation. Good to know. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Uh, who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Right. 
What's this uh, great journey you're talking about? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Uh, tell me more about these demons of yours. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You say one of the demons raved at you. How is this even possible? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Yeah, I'll take care of the demons for you. I suppose. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Give me the basement key, huh? Great. Uh, hey, can we talk to you anymore, guy? Is the way clear? Uh, not yet. Uh, you know, I do have a few questions here. How will you make this, uh, journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. Okay. Uh, how about this? What is this far beyond you're wanting to go to, then? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. So, uh... I do have another question, actually. What's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Alright. Hey, uh, okay, before I go take care of these demons in the basement, uh... You know, your last name is Bright. That, that's kind of funny. You know that? An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. Amen to that. Well, anyway, I'll be on my way. Be down in the basement if you need me. Let me know when the Underground has been rid of the demons. You got it. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, actually, we're gonna do that awkward thing where we walk the same, you know, never mind, it's dead end. Ah, uh, forget I said that. <laughs> I get so turned around in places Evening. sometimes. Evening. I don't have the key for that. Okay. But we have a basement to get to. Uh, 
Ah. Uh, yeah, that's not, uh... That's not foreshadowing anything. Hey, you know what is foreshadowing? A crash, and we just had it. Okay, we're back here. Let's uh, get back there quickly. And let's hope it doesn't do the same thing twice, right? Okay, we're in. We are in. I have an idea for this, actually. Let's use a stealth boy. Anything else we got here? Just have a feeling I'm going to need that. Uh, you know what? And we'll use the cat eye. Okay. You know what? This... These stealth boys are really going to come in handy. I, I suspect that's why... Well, I mean... The Nightkin? I'm... Look, to beat them... You have to play their game. Boom! Uh, those rebar clubs are tempting, but... Can't bring myself to do that. What do we have here? Large, scorched book. Ah, uh, nothing skill-wise. Keep it going, then. Hello, and welcome to the kitchen. You got anything good here? One yuck to rule them all. Okay. You know what, the, uh, the enhanced vision in the dark I don't think helped that much. It was kind of useful, but not, not overly. Okay, let's make this quick, because I want to get my hands on another stealth boy for this. Okay, I think that's just the sound of machinery I'm hearing right now. But, yeah, once we start to go down here, I mean, I know there are going to be more of them. More Nightkin to be found. Night 
Mexican jailer. Ooh. Well, would you look at that? And I can repair the incinerator that I have. Nice. Perfect. Wonder if anybody's being held hostage down here. I mean, if they have a jailer, it's possible, right? I mean, why would you need a why would you need a jailer unless you had people in jail? Am I right? Let's see what else there is before I head down. Just have a feeling. Fission batteries, six carry weight, but worth 75 caps. AO, jail key. AO. Okay. And that, my friends, is why you check the check your doors. We have unlimited access to these to this place now. Uh Let's see. Hey, on the honeymoon as well, we my my wife and I, we went to a zoo. Oh, uh, it was so much fun. I mean, it was well, I say fun. It was fun once we got inside. It's still a funny story in hindsight, but we struggled to find a parking spot. Because what happened was we we got to the zoo originally, initially, and she's like, "Wait, I forgot my purse at back at the hotel room. I I need to grab that." I'm like, "Okay, can we can do that? Come back, it's fine." And that's what we ended up doing. You know, hey, advice for being a good husband, that's when when your wife needs you to go get something, do it. Go get that thing, okay? Be the good husband. But she wanted me to get her, get her purse. So we drove back to the hotel, got back to the hotel room, got her that, and then drove back to the zoo. So maybe... 30, 40 minutes later, we're back in the parking lot of the zoo, and it got a lot busier between the time we'd been there before and the time we got back. We could not find a parking spot for a solid 20 minutes. We spent 20 minutes circling the different parking lots, because they had I mean, marked with letters, I think they had through M or N. So, maybe, let's see if my math is correct on this, like 15 or 16 different parking lots. Each sizable, right? Well, you know what? You know, people are great, right? What, what do you think they did when all the parking spots were gone? They parked on the grass. They parked in the lanes between parking lots. They just parked anywhere they could think of. And you know, I half of part of me applauds their ingenuity and part of me is just like really Speaking of really, uh Let's see here. What's going on here? Uh, fu Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get rid of the nightkin in the basement. We're still doing that. Uh. 
I mean, obviously this was the jail. This might have been a dead end. And all the prisoners are D.E.D. -E dead. In game. Which is rough. Rough for them. Let's see here. Yeah, I know I'm crippled at the moment, game. It's fine. I'll live. I'll live. I'm okay. Not in that much pain. Okay, that's where we came in at. Let's retrace our steps here. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. Oh, Davison. Hey, babe. What's going on? Do you want a uh, not currently, but maybe in a few minutes. Okay. Hey, uh, you you might have to speak up to be picked up the mic by the microphone. I realized that in the first part record or <laughs> in the first part of the recording on this. So, you know, yeah, just speak up a little bit so people can hear you. Hello, people. <laughs> How are you doing, babe? I'm a little bit tired. I I get that. I sorry to hear that. Uh, are you wanting ice cream now? I can wait. Okay, you sure? Yeah. Okay, and unless you want me to take a break here, because I, I record these prime time and edit them. Sure. You sure? Oh, oh, I, I'm, I wait. You're sure as in sure as in I keep, can keep doing this, or sure as in you want ice cream? Yes. So which would you prefer? I'll let you choose. Okay, people, be right back. <laughs> I'm choosing wisely. That one is on me. But anyway, but anyway, that's how that happened. No idea where she got that name from. What? <laughs> Does nobody love me? Does nobody care about Sid? Hey, for the people that didn't pick up on that, that was sarcasm on my part. Love you. Ice Age. Love you too, babe. I'll get back to this, uh... Well, at least we can get out of the basement now. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Ugh, what a mess. So, yeah. I mean... Our... Our honeymoon was fantastic, guys. It, it was great. It was, it was a lot of driving. A lot of... You know, different locales and that sort of thing. But ultimately... It was great. It was, it was fantastic. Hmm. Hello. Hello. How are you? The holy fire will carry us to our salvation. Oh yeah, sure it will. Yeah, it'll do, it'll do that. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm back. Is the way clear? The demons of yours are gone. Praise the creator. And bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Book it. Okay. Well, let's just follow him on down, right? <laughs> yep. Hey, for those of you who haven't seen this or haven't played this, I know exactly where this is going, and this is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic. OK. 
Okay, good. No crashes, no crashes. Okay, so I know I cleared out the Nightkin from most of the main areas, but... I'm not sure if I got all of them. Yeah, this is what I mean. There's a whole... another section to this place. Hey, that stealth boy might come in clutch. Just gonna... <laughs> My foot! Oh, bear traps. Ah, oh, yeah. You know what? Bear traps might be the new, uh. the new, uh. landlines, you know? Last episode. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch that, people. Landmines. Horrendous, but. Harland. Actually, I do want a uh, hunting rifle. Why did Harland attack me? Uh, I don't know. But having a hunting rifle is going to be huge in this playthrough. I already know it. I hope you know it as well. There's a certain something I want to do it, want to do to it once I get it. Uh, yeah, there doesn't look like there's doesn't look like there's anything too necessary on that terminal there. Nothing in the crates. Wonder what Harland was up to down here. You know, I'll bet it has something to do with that shipment that was mentioned. Now, question is, was he the only one that was back here? Oh, wait a minute. I bet Harland went AWOL on him. I bet he was the one that was giving those weird statements on the first day and then the rest of nothing. Ow! Oh, gosh! Oh gosh, Harlan, what did you do down here, my guy? Oh. Ow. Wait. Oh, I can't. Oh. See, here's what I was wondering. With these bear traps, so I can disarm them, but I wasn't sure if I could rearm them. And if I could re- Oh. Gosh dang it. Okay. Okay. Medical supplies over there. Are there any other trip wires? Oh, concealed mines. My explosive skill is not high enough to deal with that. Well, I'll just reach across and not deal with them. That would... That would, uh, explain that, huh? Hi, me. You've been foolish. Also, how did I... miss so many of those? Well, that would explain how, why so many Nightkin were taken out there. Anywho, that was a mess. What have we got here? We got anything good here? Was this, uh, was this guy hoarding anything? Doesn't appear, doesn't appear to be the case. This is the way they told me to go, so... Gonna do it. Just gonna explore every nook and cranny down here. Well, you know, not... I don't want to linger for too long, that might take a while. But, you know what I mean. 
Any anything good? Anything hidden? No. Anybody else down here that wants me DED dead in game? Wonder if there are more ghouls down here. Maybe. I mean, this seems like a place they'd hang out, right? And not just the ones I'm helping out. Footlock. Uh. Uh. Ooh, wait. Reloading bench. I can break stuff down, but I'm missing powder and primers for a lot of things. That's the recipes. Okay. Looks like that's really the only thing in here. Good to know. What have we got here? We got anything good here? Empty foot locker, good to know. Okay, that leads up, but it looks like this is where we need to go. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Workbench? Recycling flamer fuel. Okay. Crafting things, that's fun. Recycling microfusion cells. Absolutely. Hey! Oh, hey! Crafty got an achievement. I do like achievements in games. Ooh, I can overcharge those. Might be fun. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though. Have more important fish to fry. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those, uh, rockets of yours? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I mean, unless someone can do something about that. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Alright. Well, you're certain of that. Why don't we talk about Chris? After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your redeemers both. So you're gonna leave Chris behind. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, I've got three options here. 
I'm just going to go with the one that makes the most sense to me. You know, it's none of my business. I'm just here to help out, so... Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Goodbye, Jason. Good luck on your journey. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Okay, so we need to speak with uh, Chris, right? Hey! Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Uh, what do you do here, by the way? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Hey, uh, why, won't, why don't they let you work down the launch pad, might I ask? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris. I hate to say it, but it's because you're human. And that's not just me saying that. That's others as well. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. So, look, I wasn't trying to mess with you, but for the record here, you left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! Anyway, so, uh, the Great Journey, we'll, we'll use those rockets over there. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Alright, so, uh, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Actually, I'd like to help with something else. All right. What would you rather be doing? Well, no, I, I want to help with both. Uh, I'll track down the thrust control modules. All right. Anything else? Can you give me any tips for my current task or tasks? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. All right. Well, I need to get going then. Bye. Okay. So
Yeah. So I guess that's what we're doing. Going to a highly radioactive area to find components for rockets so these yahoos, these schmucks can uh, launch into space. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Well, actually, I prefer not to ask myself that question before we do things like these. So... It'll be fun, right? Right? Yeah, it should be. Okay. Okay, so he said ruins to the east, right? You know what? Let's head back to Novak. Because apparently Novak is really close to where we need to go. Hold up. Wait a minute. What's everybody Morning. doing here? What can I do for oh. you? Oh. Oh, hey, uh, Dr. Strauss, it's time for me to go, but please stand here. I'm going to be apparently heading into a place that has a lot of radiation, so I might need you over here. Later. Yeah, later is right. Gibson Scrapyard. Hang on. Basura Colmio. Shall we head in? And Reina. Ray. Uh, excuse me. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Do you have any uh, thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. 500 caps it is. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Well, I have some things I want to sell to you. If you don't mind. Actually, but also, did you ever salvage containers of radioactive material from Repcon? Certainly did. Hubby and me had an old rad meter to help us tell the difference between what you could salvage and what'd kill you. I kept a glowing container from Repcon around here for years, serving no better purpose than a nightlight. Damn thing wouldn't sell. Then along comes the most peculiar looking fellow, all decked out in a yellow radiation suit, of which he was proud all out of proportion. The man outright asked if I had anything radioactive for sale. Imagine that. But he paid handsome for that jar of goop. Only saw him that once. He said something about heading over to Clark Field to put his suit through its paces. A strange one he was. Uh, show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. Okay, this is the part where we get those 500 caps back. Right? I don't foresee using a baseball bat. Or the broad machete. Um, what else do we have here? Switchblade, we'll get rid of that. Apparel, we're good to go. Ant eggs, I'm going to sell those along with the ant meat. Uh, buff out, sell those. 
Sell the dog meat. Gecko meat. The Mentats. Ah, uh, hang on to the Nuka Cola. Sell the Radex. I know, I know. It's like, well, won't you need that for where you're going? I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, okay. And then miscellaneous mantis four legs. We'll sell those. We'll sell nine of them. Uh, pre-war book. Let's sell that. Some pre-war money. Sell those. Let's see. What else do we have here? Ashtray. A couple cartons of cigarettes. And let's see. You know, we're not going to get all of the 500 back, but that's fine by me. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Well, one one last thing. Why do they actually call you Old Lady Gibson? I'm quite curious. Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. I get it. Same goes for anyone these days. Well, goodbye and thank you for the help. Take care now. You as well. It's nice to see a friendly face out in the con Not the Commonwealth, the Wasteland. Why does it- why'd it go for Commonwealth? Come on. What's this look like? Fallout 4? Feel. Okay, so the place we're going. Okay. Well, apparently we need to go back there, give him that one, and then travel to an airfield. I think. I think it was an airfield. I could be misremembering, but I think it's an airfield. I wonder if there's a different door I can use to get in. Launch music signal found. Ooh, that's fun. Bit of a slalom course in here, I'll say that. I should have just used the front door. Would have been so much simpler, huh? Also, why'd it go to second floor? That seems counterproductive. Yikes. Uh I knew I should have taken that left turn of Albuquerque. Gosh dang it. Okay, is it bad if I don't exactly remember where I need to go for this? This place is such a maze. Why would you do this? Why would you design this place like this? Or maybe I just missed the obvious answer here. Happens all the time. Ugh. <sighs> Gosh, dang it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is familiar. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is familiar. Oh, finally. Yay, oh. another crash. Okay, uh, how far were we from where we needed to go? Great, fantastic. Ugh. 
Well, at least I sort of remember the route now. Yikes. Okay, let's remember to quick save before we head in there. Right? Okay, whew, we're in. It's like a 50-50 shot every time that happens. 50-50 on that door. Every time we go to it, it's a toss-up. Are we, or are we not going to end up where we don't want to go? Speaking of which, womp womp, I went the wrong way again. Yay me. <sighs> okay, well, anyway. The hey. we discussed. I found the thrust control modules. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. All I need now is the igniting agent we discussed earlier. Can you give me any tips for my current task? I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up. Alright, time for me to go then. Later. Also, I'm realizing I should have taken that ladder before. I'm so sorry I didn't. It doesn't tell me I need to go that way. Unless... I mean, it says to Mojave Wasteland, so... Clark Field, there it is. That's where we need to go. Excellent. I like having a task ahead of me. I like knowing where I need to go. Oh wait, Clark Field is wait. Yeah, is Clark Field the the highly irradiated place? I wonder. Something seems wrong here. I don't like this. Oh, hey. Hey, it's the guy. Mr. Radical's journal. And a free radiation suit. Why not? Yeah, we don't need to go in there. That guy was a fool. He was a fool. See you, chump. Right, and since we uh, found the ladder for the site, now it's pointing to that. Thanks, game. Okay. When did I get 32 disintegrations? Why did that just proc? Morning. Morning. Have you found the components we discussed? Yeah, I found an entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. The rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Uh everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Okay. Gather all. May the creator guide my words and help me speak true. The almighty creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. 
the journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how we cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. Uh. We owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Hey, sorry about that before, guys. Uh, we had a little bit of a crash there again. I know, I was warned in the comment section before, this game does crash quite a bit, and I'm... I'm doing what I can. I, you know, having fun regardless. That's, that's what matters here, right? It, look, it's not like a game where we're told, oh, participation, it's great. No, 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 no. I'm having fun because I'm having fun playing this, and I hope you're having fun watching this. And you know what? I'm sorry for the crashes. I can't help that. They just happen. But we roll with the punches, right? Oh, dear. Uh, we don't have a high enough science skill for that. And I don't know if I have anything that can help me in that venture. Survival, locksmith, meeting people, speech, explosives, science, I have two of those. Well, you know what? We'll just activate the launch button. Yeah, it did give me a luck, luck stat at all on this, so I don't know. Are they okay? Novak liked enough news of your good work has been passed around that people like you and we got an achievement for that. Fantastic. Wow. Hey, we got a level up too out of that. That being said, uh... I want to raise those stats right there. Let me just look something up here. Oh, hey, great music that's playing in the background here, by the way. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Okay, it was going to be, uh... Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, and we have a few new perks we can choose from. Strong back, you can carry 15 more pounds of equipment. I might consider that. Sneering imperialist, you don't take kindly to raiders, junkies, or tribals trying to settle or stay alive in civilized lands. Against dirty raider and chunky types, as well as Zion's tribals, you do 15% damage, or plus 15% damage, and have a bonus to hit in vats. Nice. Scrounger. With the Scrounger perk, you'll find considerably more ammunition containers than you normally would. Quick draw. Makes all your weapon equipping and holstering 50% faster. Commando. While using a rifle or similar two-handed weapon, use your accuracy... Yeah. Well, if I could talk. Your accuracy in VATS is significantly increased. Toughness. With the toughness perk, you gain plus three to overall damage threshold. This perk may be taken twice with the second rank, granting an additional plus three. Lead Belly. With the Lead Belly perk, you can take 50% less radiation when consuming irradiated food and drink. Gunslinger. While using a pistol or similar one-handed weapon, your accuracy in VATS is significantly increased. Fortune Finder. 
You'll find considerably more bottle caps and con containers than you normally would. Bloody mess. Uh, we've read a lot of these. I could do uh, Swift Learner. Okay, this would be the third rank of it, and we'd get even more XP. Or I do intense training, and I can take 10 ranks of that to increase special attributes, which would be fun, but I want to do... I think I want to do Swift Learner. That makes the most sense. And then, let's see here. I think we can go back to Novak. Well, okay, I can't uh, fast travel from here. It won't let me. That's fun. Okay, can I... Can I get out of here easily is the question. Because I would like to go back to Novak, please. If I may. That's the basement, not where I want to go. Okay, now let's head to Novak. I want to talk to Manny Vargas and see because I I think he was the one that gave the quest. I could be wrong, but that sounds about right. Wait, hey, hang on. Who are who was that? Yeah. Leave me alone. All right, I need to get going then. Bye. Yeah, he's... yeah. Okay, he ended up here. Good to know. Uh, friendly type, you know? Hey there. Been to the top of the dino yet? Yeah, real impressive. Hey, did you see any rockets go by by chance? Oh, you're gonna ignore me? Okay, that's fine. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. Maybe. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Uh. You know what? Goodbye. Come back soon now. I don't. I don't think I want all of the the dino souvenirs. I don't need those. Hey, Manny. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon. How you saw those rockets uh, going to the air, right? Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now, about the man I'm looking for. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Any idea why... <clears throat> wow, voice crack! Yikes! Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. And where is this, uh, Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. That's all I need to know. Thank you kindly. Hope that helps. I owed you. Uh, who are you, by the way? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. And what do you protect your town from? Especially now the ghouls are gone. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far we've been lucky. And who's this Boone you speak of? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Why are you on bad terms with this, uh, boo? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. And what did you and Boone's wife argue about, if you don't mind me asking? Man, you name it. 
See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. So, you were in a gang. Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. And then what was your tour with the NCR like, then? How'd that, uh, compare? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like? So why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Sorry to hear that. I think I ought to get going. Huh? Have a good rest of the day. Yeah, see ya. Idolized. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Excellent. And now we have a lead on uh, would-be killers. Uh, okay. So they went that away. So where's this, uh... Okay, that's Cliff Briscoe's bungalow. Ranger Andy, that one's closed off. Motel room, Manny Vargas' room. I want to find this boon. Requires key. Motel room, motel room. Motel room. Stuck in a bus. Ah. Okay, so the office here. No, we've been in here and talked to her before. Anything hey. new? I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Uh, what's been going on in town lately? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Alright, uh, where can I get supplies? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop, and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Yeah, can't imagine why. Uh, goodbye. Watch out for strangers. Yeah, I, I'd rather be polite. I don't want to call this place a dump. It's the wasteland, for goodness sake. Of course. Of course it's going to be a little messy. Uh, and actually, I have a thought on this. So I want to wait a few hours and then see if we go up in the tower after dark if we find Boone, the second sniper. Because I think he would be just that. Yeah, there goes Manny. I think he... I think this boon might be a boon. No offense, but I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. So now's not a good time. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. All right, goodbye then. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So much for that. Deadlines, right? What are they good for? He's up in the tower at 9. 9 what? An hour before your time? 
Come on, man. Get up there so we can talk to you. Please. Thank you. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? You expect visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Speech 41? They're really gonna do that? They're really gonna do that to me? Can I get out of this conversation? No reason. I, I don't see how that Wait. affects me. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Are you gonna try and kill me? Not unless you give me a reason. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, hey. actually. You. You wandered into town recently, right? Uh, yes. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track down your wife. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch you sold her. And what do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do to help you out. I know we just met and I know we don't know each other, but... I want to do what's right. Even in this land of people doing what's wrong. Somebody's got to. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, alright. That's all you need to know. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, this one might be a little bit longer of an episode, guys, but... You know what? It's been a fun ride, right? Let's see if we can uh, get some information here. Hey, hey uh, Manny. What's going on, man? Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? I was just talking to him and she went missing. Caesar's Legion took her, right? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Well, I'm gonna be blunt with you. Did you have anything to do with Boone's wife's disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Okay. I just don't... I don't want to send an innocent person to their death in game, okay? Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Careful. They got spies all over. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Who tried to make you talk? Confounded, no bark. You done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? What do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. 
Or use the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I'm no better. Who was it? Did you see who it was? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Huh. What's been going on in town? You seem to have a lot of information. There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. I actually already solved that. Uh, is there anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. I actually solved that one as well, so uh, I have to go now. Let me know if you meet anyone suspicious. Alright. Okay. The Dino D Light Lobby. Howdy. Howdy. Excuse me. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kinda like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. So uh, what's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Alright, goodbye then. Watch out for strangers! Yeah, watch out for strangers. Bill of Sale? Well, actually, it might be data, right? Mr. Radical Journal, Day 1. I love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rats. I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Got it? Ha! Day four, suit passed first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down tunnel. Rat level high even where I was. And I didn't feel tickled. Go, rat suit, go. Day five, vomited all morning. Didn't splash on the suit or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Day nine, exciting. Ran across old woman's scrapyard. Bought glowing container for measly 50 cats. Heading for Clarkfield to prove suit at higher rad levels. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goop open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh, yeah! Yikes. Nighttime sniper. Many Vargas mentioned that there's another sniper named Boone who works in the dinosaur mouth at night and whose wife went missing recently. Bill of sale. We, the representatives of the Consul Officiorum, have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie Mae Crawford of the township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps, and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. 
we covenant with the said Jeannie Mae Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus, the claim of which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. M. Scribonius Libo Drusus et al. Administrators of M. Licinius Crassus Consul Officiorum ab Familatis. Jeannie Mae Crawford. I got you now. Where'd she go? Hey, uh, you. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Well enough. Uh... Look, I... I just, uh... I've been doing some digging around, and... Look... Actually, it's some follow-up to the Brahmin killings, if you'd believe it. Apparently there's something in front of the dinosaur, but... I'm kind of suspicious of some of the others in the town. I, I think you ought to take a look at it. Okay, if that's what you think. Yeah. I swear it was here just a few few short seconds ago. I swear. Yikes. Well, Boone wanted his, uh, revenge justice in the wasteland. Is there really a difference between the two? One might hope, but then again. <sighs> and it wasn't just his wife, it was his unborn well, child, too. Boone. That's it, then. How did you know? I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. Well... Yeah. People are terrible out here. I had a recent experience with one of them. Scar on my head, you see it? Chasing the man that did that. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Out in this place. I don't know if you'd call that justice or not. But maybe it would mean something to me to get some closure, you know? Like for you. I'm sorry about what happened to you. But I want to know, what will you do after this? After all this here in Novak? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Come with me. Let's go after the Legion. Both of us. You don't want to do that. We'll kill more with two of us. Why don't I want to do that? Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Boone has given you the spotter perk. We'll check this. And then end the episode there. Spotter, while Buddha's companion hostile targets are highlighted whenever the player's actively aiming. That's such a good skill. That's so good for what I like to do in this game. But, on that note, a very, 
very sad note. And achievement, which is a little bit better. I'm going to call this one right here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I hope you liked my uh, wife being here for this one. <laughs> She's probably a lot more interesting than I am. I'd say that. Actually, I almost know, I know that almost for certain. So if you want to see her again, or well, I mean hear her voice again, which you probably will, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment on that in the comments section, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you're there.